Alright folks, so I've got some more parts in the mail today. I got my CPS1 harness and my CPS2 harness. CPS1 harness is really, its main focus will be to replace uh, some components in this machine. I want to replace the JAMA harness and everything in there. It's the original harness and this actually used to be a Robotron so they kind of did a shitty hack job with it so I'm going to go ahead and get that switched over to a brand new JAMA harness and everything. But in the meantime, uh, looking at this machine I've been talking about this before, how it used to be MAME, and uh, no one really plays it because uh, MAME intimidates the shit out of them, and I wanted to switch this over to a proper JAMA-based arcade cabinet. So last time I left us, um, the cabinet was running, but it lacked uh, the kick buttons, essentially, the extra buttons here and there. So I went ahead and got the CPS2 harness. Got that all set up, connected, and now we are able to play all CPS2 games, uh, provided I have the cartridge. So we'll just uh, turn this sucker on. My handy remote. Remote fires up the Neo Geo as well as this. Here it power on. There we go. Hyper fighting. So it's doing insert coin, so basically we hit this button here. And I can hit player one start. And we're good to go here, so just really quickly. A little two player action in here. Just to show the kick buttons are working now. So it's working, and player two. So yeah, this is uh, pretty much good to go. A little straightening up of the wire in the inside, and a couple uh, tidying up, but otherwise, this thing is ready to rock. So let's go back to the Monkey Land cabinet I'm working on for some good development there. Okay, so we're back looking at the Monkey Land cabinet. This used to be the cabinet that uh, basically was a jukebox, had some emulated stuff on there. I pulled the PC board I had out of that and took the PC I had in my original main machine out and into this one. And I think where we left this last time was I, I had it up and running, but not too much after that. So now the controls are working. I have a four port, uh, four, geez, four porn, wow four port uh, USB hub that will basically let you connect up to four controllers got two more SNES controllers on the way to hook up to it and then of course there is the option to hook up uh, joysticks via the USB as well so I got the Street Fighter Cross Tekken fight sticks as well as the Street Fighter 4 arcade stick that came out so you do have options for that and uh, like I said I had some plans for this so Right now, I'd say this thing is about 50% done, and you might be barely able to tell that uh, Ghouls and Ghosts is ready to run on this. So I'm going to pause the video really quick, grab the controller, and I'm going to show you where we're at. Okay, so here we are looking at Maximus Arcade, and you can see I got Ghouls and Ghosts. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Emulator's running. All right, so there we go. We got this going on this little 14-inch screen. Cool. So, you know, got two controllers right now. People can play, right? Pretty cool. Well, this is what I was talking about, where if I had a couple people come over and wanted a four-player option and uh, want to be able to have people sit down and really enjoy this thing, or even if uh, one or two players just wants to enjoy it, they can either do it at this screen or they can do it on this screen. 
Yep. So this is a projector screen that uh, I picked up off a guy at Craigslist for super, super cheap. I uh, used to be a teacher, so I don't know if he took this from the school or uh, he just happened to have it. A friend of mine said he was probably watching porn movies with it, which is probably why I was thinking 4.0 USB. But uh, this goes up to 60 inches. This does widescreen and everything. It's really nice. And then, uh, obviously, the next step after that was finding a projector. And I uh, wasn't able to find a projector on Craigslist or anything. Well, there were a bunch of them, but they were all pretty crappy. Didn't work well at all. So my option was pretty much to start shopping around for a projector. And luckily enough, I managed to find a Acer projector. I believe it's a DLP projector for around 149 bucks, which is pretty awesome. It retails for about 250 I thought I saw on Amazon. So pretty lucky there. That came today as well. And uh, now I am able to project not only on this, but this, which is pretty awesome. And I mean, the picture is sharp. It just looks absolutely fabulous. So uh, I already tested a couple games on there. Final Fight, obviously Ghouls and Ghosts, um, X-Men, the six-player version, which looks freaking awesome when you're playing uh, on the widescreen setting. I'm looking forward to playing uh, Ninja Warriors because that was another game that had a widescreen option so very cool but uh yeah this is this is freaking huge i mean let's just walk up to this thing here that big or that big i don't know pretty easy to decide so once uh i finish off the rest of this cabinet i get the emulators and everything loaded up on it I will uh, do another video, and actually I'll be doing a video on my proper HD camera. You know, I love the iPad, but it's always a little shaky, a little hard to hold. So we'll be doing a proper arcade tour video once this is completed. But uh, just wanted to show you guys the progress so far. So I'm going to play some Ghouls and Ghosts now. Mm -hmm. 